In this presentation, we're going to be reviewing potential and kinetic energy, as well as the layers of the earth. Let's begin with potential and kinetic energy. You should be familiar with this picture as you've seen it several times. In this picture, you need to know that at each point, point one, two, three, and four, this ball has put both potential and kinetic energy. You are going to be asked to determine the amount of potential and kinetic energy at each point. As you can see, I have the potential and kinetic energy labeled on each point here. At position one, you can see that there is a great amount of potential energy and a small amount of kinetic energy. At position two, there is a small amount of potential energy and a large amount of kinetic energy. At position three, the potential energy has increased and the kinetic energy has decreased. And at position four, the potential energy and kinetic energy are almost even. When trying to determine potential and kinetic energy, remember that potential energy is stored energy, not in use, and it is based on height and position. So the higher something is, typically the greater the potential energy. Kinetic energy is based off of speed or movement. So the faster something is moving, the greater kinetic energy it's going to have. So if you can see here at position one, imagine yourself at the top of a roller coaster. Before you go down the ramp, that's position one. At the very high part of the roller coaster, before you go down. At position two, that's when the roller coaster is moving super fast. So it has a great amount of kinetic energy. As you can see here, this shows you how potential and kinetic energy move. That energy going in, um, as the rider gets higher, their potential energy increases. Um, as they go down the hill, the kinetic energy they move faster and the kinetic energy increases. As you can see, I have here, the greater the speed, the greater the potential energy, but to, uh, the greater the kinetic energy, my apologies. Kinetic energy is the energy of movement. Potential energy is stored energy and it is just determined by position and height. So here, the greater height, it should not say eight, the greater the height, the more potential. Next, we have the layers of the earth. And these are just the compositional layers, not the mechanical layers, the compositional layers. So the main layers, and we have here the crust. The red part here you can see is the mantle. And then the core is broken up into an inner and outer core. As you may remember, they break the two cores up because the inner core is solid. The outer core is liquid. So that's why it's broken up. So you have the crust, the mantle, the outer core, and the inner core.